Hello lovely humans and welcome back to another week of me trying to get my life together and finally lose some weight because I would like to actually be able to continue to fit into my scrubs. It's going to be an issue if I keep going bananas. Although she did act like a nutcase. So I've decided that I'm going to use today, Sunday, to get my week set up right. And here's where it started. So I went outside this morning. I started a sermon playing because I feel like it gets me in the right headspace. And while I did that, I went outside to water my garden. Y'all know my plants give me a ton of joy. So I'm starting off with the right like headspace going on. We've got bumblebees that just go bananas over here. They have so much fun. And it's the big old fat ones. Like, oh, look at this guy. He's super cute, but we have a ton of them all over this bush and they have so much fun. There's another one, I don't know if you can see it, hold on. Yeah, you can see that other guy hiding in there right there. Sorry if y'all can hear my AC kicking on in the background, but this garden has brought me so much joy. I've got some great blooms going on with my hibiscus. It blooms sporadically, but man, when it goes, ooh, it's so pretty. But I took a ton of time this week to like kill myself ripping out a corner of grass and add like a pot and some stones. And I have like this little elephant solar statue. I gotta show you guys, I love this thing. Here we go. So we have our very first flag in the garden with little butterflies, of course, that I love. And I planted three different colors of purslane down here. They only bloom for a few hours a day, but when they do, they're freaking gorgeous. Like, look, we've got some beautiful pinks and some yellows and this kind of like lighter pink color that is also towards the end of my garden. It's the one that goes bananas. Look at this little guy. I freaking love this thing. It's a solar statue with a little baby elephant and he goes bananas at, at night, like completely bananas. This stuff is what brings me so much joy. I feel like I get to be close to nature. It makes me feel like I'm closer to God because, you know, he made all this stuff and it's pretty cool. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I think, I don't know, it just spiritually helps me out, mentally helps me out. I just want to encourage you guys that if you are trying to do something that like sets yourself up right for the week, find the thing that gives you a lot of joy and try that. It is 100% worth it. Okay, back to everything else. We got them watered. We treated the pool, so hopefully we can go swimming this afternoon because that is another thing that brings me joy. And of course, the big thing, trying to get my diet together, means that I had to get my butt together and start meal prepping early. So I did. While watching some Will Tennyson to stay motivated, I made sure to get my meal prep done for the week. I made a stir fry. We have some salmon, some noodles, some veggies. And for those of you thinking, why is there sauce on your stir fry? I'm partial to yum yum sauce. I know it's calorific and that's why I don't use like the entire bottle when I'm baking it. My focus is making sure that I had something with the protein, some veggies, and there was a lot of them in there and that I have basically a solid meal so that I'm not going to bed ravenous because if I'm ravenous, I end up snacking on things that are way more calorie dense than a couple of condiments. Although I still try to make sure I'm not going bananas. I usually tend to have one heavier meal of the day and then my other meal is usually a salad. So I'm not as concerned if there's some heartiness with the noodles again baby steps for those of you that are new here. The main thing for me is that I'm putting in the effort to make the meals and gradually making each one healthier bit by bit. Because my biggest problem, aside from sugar, is that I'm really prone to going out to eat. And not only is that setting us up horribly financially if we're going out to eat every night, because y'all know that crap is expensive. They said market price. What market are you shopping at? I really just would like to be able to have more of a choice in what I make and with the veggie quality or quantity and fruits in my meals. It makes a huge difference. So we already have one meal prepped and now it's on to the second one. I'm still kind of feeling like Asian style foods this week. So I'm actually gonna do some shrimp fried rice. This is the uh, microwave version, which is a lot faster. I found these at Central Market and I love them because you get your little veggies in there and the rice and you don't have to deal with like a crap ton of oil on the stove because I feel like I always go too hard and there's a lot of calories in oil. So I'm like, we go calm that down and go to the microwave version. Since I already went a little heavier on like the oils and the sauces on the salmon with noodles stir fry, I definitely wanna make sure that everything else throughout the week is a little more balanced. And so instead of just going bananas and having a ton of rice, I'm gonna be getting my bulk from riced cauliflower. If you mix it with the fried rice, it adds a lot of bulk, but you don't have to have as much rice and it just kind of like calms things down calorie wise. Plus, you know, veggies. And it's also microwavable, so that is much easier. And as always, the cats are on the ground begging because they think it's cheese. They are ridiculous. Hi, Nogi. Are you hoping for food? Hi. We so silly. So I know I told you guys I was making a shrimp fried rice. However, as our other meal had a pretty good chunk of oil in it, 
I'm just going to bake the shrimp. Like there's no need for the extra spritzes of oil. I seasoned them with turmeric, garlic, and I'm forgetting what, oh, ginger, all the orange stuff basically. And I actually did not add any salt because I didn't realize this until I was reading the back of the bag the shrimp came in. They're already salted. Like, why is everyone trying to sneak more salt in on us? So I'm not adding any extra. But we're gonna bake them at 350. Basically, I'll turn them probably about halfway. I'm gonna ballpark and say like five minutes or maybe six minutes and then check them because I don't know how long it's gonna take. Also, if you guys wanna set yourself up for success for the week, it also helps to wear something that you enjoy. I found uh, this shirt at the thrift store about a month ago and I hadn't had an excuse to wear it yet, but I've been really freaking excited and uh, it makes me happy. So starting off happy. All right, our fried rice via microwave is done. So we are gonna pull it out of here. And then we're gonna add the rice cauliflower as well as the fried rice into our bowl. And spill some on the floor. Sorry. No, no, he's not for you. No. No. <laughs> he's cauliflower, you won't like it, it's not cheese. I know you were hoping, but it's not for you. All right, so while I block the cat from eating the cauliflower, I'm also gonna soak up some of the extra water because I forgot if you do the steamed cauliflower, it gets like super soggy and we do not want a soggy stir fry, that's gross. All right, that's better. Now it's not gonna be gross and wet. We are gonna add the fried rice. And now we're gonna clean up the mess we made on the floor. I ended up doing like eight minutes for the shrimp in the oven simply because they cook a lot faster than I thought they were going to. So they've got some pretty heavy seasoning. I'm also aware of the fact that I added all that steamed cauliflower rice, so there's not gonna be as much seasoning from those. So I was relying more on the shrimp and when I stir it all up, it'll blend through pretty decently. I know a lot of people do soy sauce with their stir fry. I usually do liquid aminos. I think it's supposed to be a little bit less salt, but to be honest, it is still really salty. So I go real light on that if I can help it. Also, not pro tip, but helpful tip. If you want to use turmeric, please be very, very aware that it will turn everything in your universe like orangey yellow. It's everywhere! That is the finished version. Not necessarily as colorful as I would like, but it'll get the job done. I also added just a smidge of duck sauce, not to go overboard, but just to have a little bit of that citrus flavor. And I think it worked out pretty nicely. One of the things I also do is make sure that we have a pretty decent amount of fruit in the fridge for the week because yes, there is sugar in fruit, but that's like a healthy thing, not a processed thing. There is a difference, guys, just so y'all know. Either way, I don't go to bananas with it, but I like having fruit options. And now, do you ever feel like a plastic bag? I think I'm gonna be sick. For those of you wondering what on earth is going on with the plastic bags, no, I did not set those up just so I could do a Katy Perry like singing spree. Those are actually so I can be completely prepared for the gym this week. So if you think about it, there's usually something that's gonna prevent us from getting to the gym. It's always, I forgot my headphones. I didn't have my gym clothes with me. I'm too tired after work to stop home and change. At least those are my excuses. So this week I decided that I was gonna be a little bit more proactive and make sure that I have no excuses. In those three bags, because my goal is to go to the gym three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, if I can help it, and sometimes a bonus session on Sunday, but to be honest, I've only made the gym like once in the last month. So we are definitely needing to get set up for some better success. I've been extremely tired after work and I usually try to be like, oh yeah, I'll come home and change and go to the gym. That doesn't work. So what I'm doing instead is I have gym clothes for all three days packed. I'm gonna make sure that I have my gym booklet where I track all my workouts and my headphones in the car. So there is no excuse that I'm ready to go. And I'm gonna have those bags in my car as well. That way I don't have the excuse if I'm stopping at home. The main thing that I'm gonna have to battle is being too tired to want to go and if I just go like on the way it kind of turns in if I can get myself there that's the hard part but if I can go while I'm on the way home it's more of a well I'm already here I might as well do something and even if it's kind of like a half hour workout that's still better than no workout and what I find is that even if I only have the energy for like a half hour workout I usually bring like a protein bar with me and that helps a little bit so that is in my work bag if I start doing a workout I don't really like doing things halfway so it ends up being a full workout after all so if you want to set yourself up for the week for success with your workouts make sure that you have no excuses for why you can't make it to the 
the gym or for your walks or for whatever it is you are doing for physical fitness. I'm also really looking forward to having cooler weather because it's headed there bit by bit. And that means that I can finally go outside and do some more walking. Cause I love getting my exercise via walking. It is a few hours later. We are in the car because we are headed to Meow Wolf in Grapevine. My husband's been dying to go forever and it should be kind of a cool experience because all I've heard about it is uh, crazy shenanigans. I've already had some me time today so I can make sure that I'm staying like mentally recharged and I got a quick cat nap in so I could be functional because if you want to prepare for your week, getting rest is important. And now we're going to get some quality couple time in because frankly, your cup's got to be full on all fronts if you want to prepare right for the week, especially if you guys both have super busy schedules and it's hard to see each other. So take some you time, take some family time, which I had yesterday, and get you some boo thang time. It was my first time ever going to any sort of Meow Wolf exhibit and it was amazing. It's basically like an interactive, ginormous art exhibit with tons of lore and mysteries. And they had this crazy <laughs> little part you had to crawl through. We were not graceful, but we made it. I would highly recommend if you're ever in the area where there's a Meow Wolf, checking one out. It was our first one ever, and honestly, I cannot wait to go see the other ones. You're born. <laughs> we have officially made it back home from our date to Meow Wolf, and it was amazing not only was the quality time fantastic but we got to have a nice little dinner out nothing too crazy and just really enjoyed each other's company and i gotta say that helped get the stress levels down nice and low baby lock the door and turn the stress down low it gave me a fresh start i feel like i am actually like ready for the week without being like i hate everything which hopefully means that i can make some good decisions this week i would love to know in the comments down below while you're busy you know liking and subscribing of course what you guys do when you're trying to get set up for the week to make sure that you're going to be successful with whatever your goals are. Someone's busy shaking their collars around as always. A little one. <laughs> But I would love to know in those comments what you guys do when you're trying to set yourself up for success. What habits do you put in place? What little things do you do that make a big difference? So let me know and I will see you lovely humans next Friday. Bye bye.